Good morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is, I believe it's September the 11th of 2024. And good morning to you. And I have my copy of the Word of God open to the book of Job and chapter 7. The book of Job and chapter 7. I hope you have your hot cup of coffee with you and you are ready to enjoy it. And you're going to open up your copy of the Word of God. And join us there and follow along with us as we read Job chapter 7. We move our attention to our point to ponder. And this one comes to us by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. Uh, And he says this. One act of obedience is better than 100 sermons. One act of obedience is better than 100 sermons. It's quite a statement. Um, Yeah. I mean, all of it's meaningless until we put it into action and we start obeying our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And so, anyway, um, it is nearing the 9 o'clock hour, and I trust, again, that you're going to have a wonderful, wonderful day as we get started today. Job chapter 7 is where we'll be. Let's go ahead and let's bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We praise you for a brand new day. We thank you for what is ahead of us. And Lord, you know. You know what is ahead of us. We can plan. We can have our ambitions. We can strive, but Father, the future belongs to you. And Lord, we pray that you would guide us, that you would direct us each step of the way, that you would help us to be faithful in all that we say and all that we do. Father, as we come into your presence, We just commit ourselves to you as your servants, as your slaves, realizing that life for us means obedience and submission to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Life for us is about bringing him honor and glory in all that we say and all that we do. Father, we just pray that this would be constantly before our eyes. Father, as we stand in your presence, you know our frame. You know that we are but dust and ashes. You know. So, Lord, through your strength, through your grace, that we might be faithful to you submissive, obedient in all things. Father, you know where we need help. In and of ourselves, we are weak. Lord, please continue to sustain your saints meeting each one of our needs for strength, for resources, for medical health. Father, we just ask that each one of our needs, and help us to know that no matter what happens, you are right here with us, closer to us than the air that we breathe. Lord, that you would be pleased with your people, that you could cause your face to shine upon us. And Father, again, as we read your word, that your spirit would open our hearts and open our minds and help us, Lord, to see, to apply, and to learn the great truths in your word. 
realizing that literally every word that we read is your word. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this opportunity for us to open your word and read it together. Bless us with it today, Father. We ask this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Job chapter 7. Is there not an appointed time to man upon the earth? Are not his days also like the days of a hireling? As a servant earnestly desireth the shadow, and as an hireling looketh for the reward of his work, so am I made to possess months of vanity and wearisome nights appointed to me. When I lie down, I say, When shall I arise and the night be gone? And I am full of tossings to and fro unto the dawning of the day. My flesh is clothed with worms and clods of dust. My skin is broken and become loaths. My days are swifter than the weaver's shuttle and are spent without hope. Oh, remember that my life is wind. Mine eye shall no more see good. The eye of him that hath seen me shall see me no more. Thine eyes are upon me, and I am not. As the cloud is consumed and vanisheth away, so he goeth down to the grave, and shall come up no more. He shall return no more to his house, neither shall his place know him any more. Therefore, I will not refrain my mouth. I will speak in the anguish of my spirit. I will complain in the bitterness of my soul. Am I a sea or a whale that thou settest to watch over me? When I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaint, then thou scarest me with dreams and terrifiest me through visions, so that my soul chooses strangling and death rather than my life. I loathe it. I would not live always. Let me alone, for my days are vanity. What is man that thou shouldest magnify him, and that thou shouldest set thine heart upon him, and that thou shouldest visit him every morning, and try him every moment? How long wilt thou not depart from me, nor let me alone, till I swallow down my spittle? I have sinned. What shall I do unto thee, O thou preserver of men? Why hast thou set me as a mark against me, so that I am a burden to myself? And why dost not thou not pardon my transgression, and take away mine iniquity? For now shall I sleep in the dust, and thou shalt seek me in the morning, but I shall not be. And may God add his blessing to the reading of his word. Yesterday we remarked that sometimes a Christian life can be very difficult. And beloved, sometimes we get discouraged. Job did even to the point where he despaired of death. But can I remind you of this? In the midst of it all, as Job tried to reason through all that was going on in his life, God was doing things that he had no concept of. God was at work. God was using Job to glorify himself. And beloved, even when we face difficult times, please remember, God's at work. God's at work. And in the midst of whatever trials, difficulties, testings we may go through, keep your eyes on God. Keep your eyes on Jesus Christ. They are active. They're doing things that we have no concept of. It is for us to be faithful to be faithful in all things. Beloved, 
as I encourage you to be faithful, please remember, do not allow yourself to become someone else's excuse for turning away from our blessed, loving Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God loves you. We love you. And until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen.